Hey YouTube fam, what is up? I am Meredith and welcome to my channel. Today is gonna be a lot of fun because I have a little bit of a potpourri of things to show you and to try on with you guys. I have a couple sponsors today. We've got Ant Mall with a couple of luxury dupe items and then we have our favorite Dossier perfumes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. Then I have some shoes, some boots, some clothes to try on and this lovely dress. If you guys are returning, thank you so much for always coming on back and supporting my channel. And if you guys are new here, I am Meredith. I'm a mid-size and curvy size eight slash 10 content creator. I create lots of try-on hauls with lots of different brands to put them through the curvy girl test. I hope that my content really empowers women to love the skin they're in, love their bodies, and also to help them dress our curves at the same time because it is hard out here. Before we get started, for reference, I am 5'7". I've got a 36 inch bust. I've got a 29 inch waist. I've got a 44 inch hip. I wear a medium on the top and a medium on the bottom. And my pant size is usually an eight and sometimes also a 10. We have things from H&M today. We've got things from Mango today. We've got Hoka shoes. We've got a couple sponsors. So let's hop into today's video because I'm so excited to share with you guys all of the new things that I have bought, some of the things that I have received. Let's hop right into it first or second time purchasing something at VC. Okay, this was the image of what I thought I was ordering and this is what I got. Not a huge fan that the colors are so drastically different. They are way more saturated in the photo against the black background, whereas in real life, it's not so saturated, which I much prefer the dress in the image. However, this is another perfect breakfast dress for me. So I think that I'm going to keep it. I am in a size small. I did get it on sale, which is the only reason I'm going to keep it because it was a huge disappointment that the colors were not accurate. Next up is a set from Boo Avenue. And I saw somebody try this on or they were wearing it on Instagram. And I was like, okay, her body doesn't really look like mine because she was a lot thinner than me. However, I saw the high cut of the undies and I was like, that's gonna be something that is going to fit me perfectly. Broad panty set, super comfortable, very stretchy, fits the booty perfectly, wedgie proof as far as I can tell, although I haven't worn them for very long, but definitely walking around definitely wedgie proof. And then I also wanted to get the thong because I am not a brief girl because usually they just give me wedgies all the time and I don't want to deal with that. So I got the thong as well to have both options in my closet. First time trying them. They also have this in neon and I'm about to go order it right the second. We are going to start today's video with my first sponsor of the day and they are Ant Mall. They are a luxury dupe online store and they have so many things, lots of jewelry, lots of bags, lots of accessories and lots of shoes. They sent me two items. I'm going to quickly unbox them with you and then try them on. First up is a Prada dupe sunny and you guys know i love my sunglasses and i never really wear anything else but when i saw these on my girl the other day i was like let me just try them let's see how they look these are absolute fire 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 okay they are wide enough on my face usually i like much thicker sunglasses, I guess wider sunglasses, like bigger frames because I have a big head. So usually <laughs> little sunglasses don't really work on my face shape, but these definitely do. I love how wide the arms are on either side. They do have a little Prada logo on the side. They are jet black. If these are not perfection, I don't know what is. You guys, these are so good, super affordable. Check them out. Fall is coming, fall is coming. It's not here yet, but it's coming, it's on its way. And I wanna be prepared for the fall. And I have been dying to get some Birkenstocks, the Boston clogs. And when I saw these, I was like, oh, these are even better, okay? Comes with a little shoe bag and then has this really pretty green wrapping paper and then the shoes look at these clogs you guys what these are amazing and i cannot wait to wear them however they run really small okay so i'm a nine us okay they sent me a size 
39, which is a US 8. And they're teeny tiny on me. So I actually think that I might even ask them to resend them to me in a size 41, because I think the 40s are going to be too small. I mean, you guys let me know what you think, but ignore the dress because I would not wear the dress with these clogs. I would wear these with a pair of denim for sure. Let me give you the up close and personal look on my foot sexy. I was so disappointed that I couldn't wear them sooner because my heel is just falling off the back of them. So if you guys do order these, definitely order a size up for sure. I think Ant Mall is giving me a discount code. I will drop that here on the screen. I am obsessed with these. I cannot wait to get them in my proper size so I can wear them with chunky sweaters and denim. Cannot wait. Thank you so much to the good people at Ant Mall for sending these my way. Be sure to check them out. You guys know how in my intro, I always give you guys my sizes for reference. And sometimes I say like I'm an eight and sometimes also a 10. Okay, so this is a prime example. These pants are a size eight and they do not fit me. They're not even close to fitting. They have no stretch, which is also kind of a slight problem, but I would have to go up to a 10 or maybe even a 12. I mean, there's no way that these are going to fit. And that's why I say sometimes I wear a size 10 as well. <laughs> I saw this denim on denim outfit on H&M and I ordered it immediately and I should have thought twice about the pant size. Didn't know that they didn't have stretch. Also a tapered waist, which is probably even harder to get up over my hips. Uh, but this is the picture. This is the inspo picture of what I wanted it to look like on my body. Let me just actually take these off and show you the cut of the pants because I think they're really very well tailored and I'll give you the idea of what they would look like if I had them on. Actually, let me just hold them up because that's not gonna work. Super cute idea, super cute idea, okay? So maybe I will order these pants in maybe two more sizes up, maybe a 12, uh, because I think I'm really wanting to make this outfit work. <sighs> Yeah. Okay, so let's just talk about the top because the top is still cute. I'm in a size medium. It covers the bum. This is more like a top that is not meant to be tucked in. Although I guess you could, but because it's so long in the back, I would leave these over the pant, kind of like the reference photo. There is no, oh, maybe there's a little stretch in here. Mm, not a lot. I would say maybe a tiny, tiny bit of stretch, but practically none. So if you do order this, just keep that in mind. Love the top, love the idea. Let's get a different size pink. This next portion of today's video is sponsored by Dossier. You guys know that I've worked with them in the past couple of months and I plan on working with them one more month after this and hopefully in the future. They are a luxury inspired fragrance company. Let's just give you an example, okay? Let's take Tom Ford or a Baccarat Rouge or a Le Labo or a Byredo and some other scents that go for probably $500, $600, okay? Dossier makes affordable luxury inspired fragrances at a fraction of the price. I think these two bottles go for $29 or $39 and they are inspired by your favorite scents. Let's see what they sent me today. This first scent that they sent me is one of my most favorite scents of all time. This is inspired by Mason Margiela Replica Jazz Club. Okay. It smells absolutely decadent. I tend to like a little bit more masculine or unisex scents. I like woody smelling things. And this is just that. Top notes is lemon, pink pepper, neroli. Middle notes is rum, dry fruits, blonde woods. Base notes are styrex, tobacco leaves, and vanilla. You guys could actually go into Sephora and smell this scent before ordering, but I wanted to tell you one amazing thing about this company. Ordering scents online can be really challenging because unless you know the scent, how do you know if you're gonna like it or not? It is a very particular thing to each individual. And so what they do is you can order these risk-free. Let's just say you wanna order three scents, try them out at home, give them a smell, wear them on your bodies because you know they act a little bit differently with our oils. And then you can send it back if you don't like it and get your money back. No questions asked, 100% guarantee. That's what I love about Dossier. Now, the next scent they sent me is inspired by Gucci Guilty, okay? I actually forgot what this smells like. Let's go ahead and smell it. 
Okay, top notes are pink pepper, lemon, neroli. Middle notes are orange blossom, lavender, geranium, and base notes are amber, patchouli, and cedarwood. I hate patchouli, can't stand it. This doesn't smell like patchouli, although it is mixed in with all of the other scents. I wanted to just read one thing from Dossier. Their mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. They essentially created this brand to give everybody access to feel and smell like luxury because we all deserve it. Not everybody has $500 to spend on a bottle. They have the best inspired scents, some of my favorite scents. Go ahead and check out all the amazing scents on their website. I highly suggest Dossier. I stand behind them 100%. Love everything about them. I will drop the links below. All right, the plan was to try this trench on, this cut off sleeve trench with the pants on. But since that's not possible, we are going to just freestyle it, okay? So this cut off sleeve trench coat is from Mango. And when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh yeah, she's coming home with me for sure. Wanna know why? Because she is unique. Have you ever seen anything like this in your whole life? You're gonna say no because you haven't because this is just like the most epic cut off sleeve trench coat I've ever seen. I feel like this is never going to go out of style. It was, how much was that? $159, which is a little bit on the pricey side for me. I don't usually like spending that much money on one item, but because she's unique, she came home with me. I did size down to a size small. It is the regular sort of trench coat material that you would find on any other regular trench coat. I just really cannot get over these sleeves. I think that it runs a little bit big and definitely was a little bit boxier on me in the size medium, but She's cute, she's unique, she's high-end-ish. And so yeah, I love her, cannot wait to wear her for the fall. And since we sort of have <laughs> a dress-ish sort of style on, I'm gonna try on some shoes. Now, this color I saw on somebody else and I was like, that's fire. On me, it's not the best, but if I do have tan legs, it's gonna work out just fine. I got both of these from H&M. I'm obsessed with the style. And the reason why I got both of them was because they were like $21 each. Cool. Oh! And that's why I got both. <laughs> They're just the absolute best. Again, this color is not great for my skin complexion just because, I don't know, it just isn't. That's just how colors work. But I could wear them with tights. I could just, oh my God, I'm gonna get so hot doing this. Um, I could just tan my legs before I wear them. Okay, I need a break. Filming fall in the summer is so hot. Let me just quickly show you what the black ones look like for reference. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm not gonna try both of them on because it was way too hard to put one on, but you guys get the point. They're amazing. Love the thick sole on the bottom. Love how tight they are around my calves. And you guys, I have big calves. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more fitted on you, these are gonna work perfectly. Great to wear with dresses, great to wear. I don't know if I would wear these maybe with some leather leggings or something like that. I don't know if I would stick a jean in there, but definitely dress worthy. All right, next outfit is also from H&M. I'm a green girl, love green, love this color green. And you guys know I love my sweats. So I'm in a medium bottom and I wanted to size down to a small top because I like it to sort of hit at my waist. A medium would have been a little bit longer. So this is how I usually like to wear my sweatpants. I know I talked about tucking in sweatshirts. That's just something that I like to do because of the shape of my body. Super warm, super cute. This is gonna be great for fall. I think I'm pretty happy with them. Very relaxed fit on the bottoms, but also giving me some shape in the back as well. I wanted to, since I have this sweatshirt on, talk to you guys about my new workout shoes. Hoka's. I have hated them since the moment I saw them. I don't remember when the first time I saw them in the store was, but I hated them because the colorways are so atrocious. I'm sorry and no offense to anybody who owns a pair of multicolored Hoka's. They're just not for me, okay? This is all personal preference. This is no attack against anybody else. But if you do have a pair of Hoka's and you wear any colors with them, it just looks a hot, mess. That way I can wear white sneakers with any color. You guys know I love color. You know I have a 
tons of workout gear in lots of bright colors. So wearing white workout sneakers is my jam. These feel like clouds on my feet. I've worked out in them a couple of times. I actually ordered a size eight and a half because I heard that they ran big. They run an entire size too big. So I ended up having to reorder and send those back. I got an eight. I usually wear an eight and a half or nine. They were massive, just massive on me, even the eight and a halfs. Usually I do a nine in a workout sneaker because I like to have a tiny bit of room, but the eights work perfectly. I found an all white pair. Get your hands on some so that way they can match all of your workout gear. Let me preface this by saying that I would not wear these pants with this shirt, but I wanted to try it on for you guys and I'm just too daggone hot to put on other pants. This top is from H&M and the front it's like, you know, an oversized, maybe boyfriend style oversized button down, you know, something your husband or boyfriend or partner would wear. Wait for it. Okay, ready? The grand reveal. Is this not the best job you've ever seen in your whole life, you guys? I am obsessed with this. Okay, wait, let me. Oh yeah. Well, maybe I need to size down actually because this is looking a little bit too oversized for me. This is my first time trying it on so I don't really know. It feels a little bit apron-y if I'm being honest. Uh, you know, you know what aprons look like, right? So, oh, maybe that actually helped. One second. Okay, let me grab the reference photo because it looked way cuter on line than it does on me. And it also might be because I have sweatpants on and it's throwing me off a little bit. But I have a vision. I have a creative mind. I can envision this paired with some cute pants, some denim. But I'll throw up the reference photo here just so you guys get an idea of what it would look like on a different body type. I'm in a size medium, I believe. I love the idea of it, but maybe just not for the size maybe? Maybe I just need to size down. I'm gonna try that. Okay, you guys, that wraps up today's haul and try on of my potpourri of things. We had some hokas, we had some boots, we had some stuff from H&M, we had some mango stuff, we had some VC stuff, we had some Boo Lounge stuff, we had Ant Ma, we had Dossier. We covered the bases today. I hope you found some things that you liked. And if not, I hope it inspired you to try something that you normally wouldn't have tried otherwise, but seeing it on my body sort of gave you the courage. As always, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And if you guys feel so inclined, you guys can hit that super thanks button at any time during this video to support me and my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.